Hello everyone and welcome to the Cambridge University Botanic Garden. I'm Maddie and I will be your tour guide for this evening as we go on a very special adventure through the stunning glass houses here. But this isn't going to be your typical tour because right now I'm actually at what we are calling Base Camp, uh, where we've been provided with a whole bunch of kit because the lovely team at the Botanic Garden have invited us to help them solve a mystery which means that there are clues to find and lots of puzzles to solve. Thankfully though, I'm not going to be doing this on my own because I have all of you lot watching at home. And also we have our tour manager who is over at headquarters right now. It's Greg. Hello everyone. Um, so thank you so much for joining for tonight's Twilight Tour. I am indeed Greg, hello. I am your tour manager. I will be keeping track of your botanic garden adventure here from the Glasshouse HQ and I'll be passing on your ideas, your solutions to the puzzles to Maddie so we can all help her solve the mystery. Um, let's see who's watching live. Gosh, there are a lot of you and the live chat is going crazy. Um, so uh, hi Maddie and Greg, Sam and Isaac are really looking forward to this. They've missed you. Uh, great to see you. Thanks for coming back. Uh, Sophie and Caitlin are super excited. Uh, Isabel, who's six, and Mummy, uh, they're watching from Hampshire. Uh, we've got Caroline and Liam, first time watching live. Hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, there are so many of you watching. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are watching live, please do jump in the live chat and say hello. And that's where you're going to be sending your thoughts and your ideas to me as well, so I can pass them on to Maddie. Um, if you're watching back later, hello as well. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. Stick with us and play along with these, uh, these puzzles as the mystery unfolds. Um, but here's the thing, Maddie, we don't actually know what's going to happen, do we? No, no, we don't. So I've had an opportunity to explore the glass houses in the night, but all I do know this evening is that we are going to travel through all of them, which means we're going to discover plants that live high up in the mountains, in hot deserts, in tropical wetlands, even in rainforests. But what I do know is that I have some bits and pieces that I can explore. So I'm thinking maybe I could start by looking through some of this stuff and hoping that maybe it will give us our first clue, or at least we can wait until we get one. So I have over here, I've got, okay, I've got a thermos flask, which has some hot water in it, maybe. Hang on, let me check. Yep, some hot water in it. I've got think bits and bobs over here. Um, there's a torch. I've got a sleeping bag and a bed, but I don't think I'm gonna be carrying that around the glass houses. And over here we have a pot, pan, and I've got a tin of beans. <laughs> Can you hear that? What? What's okay, on? hang on. This isn't any old tin of beans, everybody. This, this is. Oh, hang on. Oh no. Can you see that? This is a fake okay, can I'm of beans, Maddie. I'm gonna try and open this up. Hang on a second. Oh, this is so exciting. What's inside? There's something inside it. One moment. There's me thinking I was gonna get some beans. Right. <laughs> we have a letter. Shall I read it out? Yeah, read it out. Read it out. Here it says, to whoever should find this note, my lifelong mission to see the mysterious moonflower bloom took years of study as I cared for it here in the glass houses. Last winter, my hard work paid off when a single white flower finally opened in the moonlight. I was mesmerized and managed to capture its beauty in a painting just before it faded away leaving the plant quietly wrapped around the trunk of a tree. It's my dream to share the mysteries of the moonflower, so I have prepared you a quest. Follow the clues and solve the puzzles to unlock my knowledge and reap the rewards, prizes, hello. Um, however, you must be quick. In one hour's time, the glasshouse sprinklers <laughs> will wash away my precious moonflower painting forever. Are you and your fellow Twilight Explorers ready for the challenge? Yes! Sign the botanist. Wait, and it says PTO. First, why not have a cup of tea? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is our mission. We need to find the mysteries of the moonflower and to do it, we need to follow some clues. But okay. what should I do first and where should I be going? Okay, so team watching live in the live chat, what do you think Maddie should do first? Um, I'm going to start a quest inventory to keep track of what we've picked up. So 
there is the note that we've picked up. Um, so have we been told where to start? Like we've discovered the note in the bean can. Uh, we know it says there are going to be clues and puzzles for us to solve in order to discover the mysteries of the moonflower. But where do we begin? Oh my goodness, the live chat. Um, let's have a look at what's happening. Oh, Maddie, here's a great one. Hang on. Um, hot water in the mug. Hot water in the mug. To make yes. tea. Yes. Okay. Hang on a make second. Make tea. I can do that right away. They said, so make a cup of tea. I can do that, but I do, wait, I don't have any milk. I can see something on the mug. No milk today, everyone. Right. I think I can see okay. something on the mug. Where? Where? On the front, on my side. Oh, it's getting even clearer. Is it? <gasps> okay. So I can see it here, but it, they, we've got a picture. It's a heat reveal mug. This is it so is. Cool. <laughs> we've got a picture of some mountains. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, this is so awesome. All right, on the back, <gasps> it says, we've got a note. It says, on your adventure, find four code words and one number. So that's what we have to do. Solve the mysteries of the moonflower by finding four code words and one number. Okay, right, I'm gonna keep track of this mission on the whiteboard here. So we need to find four code words, three, four, and one number in order to reveal the mysteries of the moonflower. Okay, um, Mads, what else does it say on the mug? Okay, so I'm just looking, it's revealed a bit more. It also says, pack wisely. Um, apart from that, it's just the mountains. So. From all the bits and bobs around me, what do you think that I should I should pack? What do I okay. need? Okay, so first things first, and I can see this, I think, for any adventure, you first need a map. A it's map. on the stool. Yes, I do, I have a map. That's it, just here. Hang on, let me stand up for you so you can see it better. Here we go, map. Perfect, now let's have a look at it. So we can see the different glass houses. Um, you must be where the tent is, Maddie, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, so it is And then a next map. to you, that must be the mountains glass house. And then the next one, that's the big one. It's like three parts. Uh, that's got a leaf with raindrops. That must be the tropical rainforest glass house. Um, then there's a pond. So that must be the tropical wetlands glass house. And that final one, that must be the desert glass house. There's it. And also, just want to show you, there is a compass at the top here. And then I don't know if you noticed, but there's also a little book that's just outside the mountain glass house as What's well. That? So. Did anyone have any ideas about what I should be taking with me, what I should pack or where I should go first? Yes, so uh, we've got suggestion here to take the torch, which I think good, is yes. a really good idea. Lots of people saying okay. torch. Someone says the yep. sleeping bag, but I've got a feeling that's gonna be a bit tricky. Um, yeah. How about, I think map and torch is the one we need to go for. Okay, yeah, map and torch. Yeah, map and torch. Um, and some people have spotted a notebook. Yes, I've Someone got a notebook they, as well. It was originally under the binoculars. That's Hang it. On, so, wait, something's fallen out of it. Oh. Can you see this? Yeah. This was in the notebook. It's a library card. What? <laughs> it's a library card. Okay, I'll add it to the inventory along okay. with uh, the mug and the map as well. Okay. Yeah, so I've also got the mug, but this is full of hot water, but yeah, it's just got the mountains on it. So okay. that's pretty much everything. So where, so where to first? <laughs> where to first? So um, let, I'm just having a look at the live chat. Thank you all so much. You're sending me in loads. This is so, so brilliant. Okay, so there are suggestions to go. Oh, this is a good one. Someone says, go to the mountain house. Lots of people saying, go to the mountains first because someone said earlier, because there's a mountain on the mug. So Mads, yeah. I think we should try that. Let's hot Hang foot on. it yeah, to the mountain point. house. Good point, they're matching up. So I'm going there. Yes. Okay, in which case, I've got a torch, which means I can actually see where I'm going. <gasps> the adventure begins. Come on everybody, to the mountain house. Here we go. So I am leaving base camp right now. Thankfully, the mountain house is just next door. Uh, but everyone, make sure that you keep your eyes and ears peeled because there could be clues absolutely anywhere. We also might need some of you to research some things that we come across. Uh, here we go, I'm just gonna show you. Mountains, mountain house, I'm That's gonna head one. inside right now. And, oh, there we go. It is instantly really cold in here and that's because all of the plants that grow in this glass house, you'd usually find them in chilly mountains in the wild. Whilst we look for clues though, 
Um, I'm going to show you a couple of plants. So if we go over here, you see this one? This one here is known as a Masonia, and it's usually from South Africa, but actually it only flowers in the winter, which is pretty cool, which is why we can see it at the moment. And then over on this one, this one's one of my favourites actually, I'll show you this. You can look at the colours of it. Can you see this like red and white stripes? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Well, this has the name Candy Cane Sorrel, because it sort <laughs> of has that swirly candy cane look to it, which is really exciting. Mads, right. lots of people are saying um, that there was a, a board with a picture of a bird on it. People are saying, look, go back to the picture of a bird. Okay, where, where? Where was it? Was it was back where you started. Here? Right, yes, yes. Okay, brilliant. We have a board that's, that it's, has a sunbird on it. I don't know much about sunbirds though. So if anyone knows anything about a sunbird, that might be really useful. And then- There's, there's, here, more, there's another one. one. Yeah. This one, this one, we've got another one here. This is a Euglossine bee. Oh. It's green. It's almost like sort of like an emerald green. I, I don't know much about this either, actually. Okay. Hang on. All right. Look, you lot can help. Um, if you can start researching some stuff about these animals. So we've got a sunbird and a euglossine bee. I mean, Maddie knows a lot about bees, but that's a different one, euglossine bees. Okay, what else have we got there, Mads? Got another I can see one. a butterfly. Got one here. We have um, a butterfly. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna look around. So we're gonna do a little bit of a loop around the glass houses. Are there any more? Got another one here, another one. If you can see this, we have a bat. Yeah. A bat. It's so dark in here. And then the thing is though, so it's all very well having these like different animals, but what links them together? I reckon there's got to be something that, that they all have in common. Um, and okay. last one, maybe. Uh, this is a honey possum. This, interesting fact for you, if we have time, is actually, it's a very small mammal. It's called a honey possum, but it doesn't eat honey. It actually eats nectar from a type of plant known as a banksia, a candlestick banksia, because it, the plant looks like a candlestick. So there you go, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Hang on, one minute. No, nothing, nothing else. Not that I can see. Okay, no problem. Right, so you lot, we've now got uh, a sunbird, a bat, a butterfly, a honey possum, uh, and the bee, the euglus, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. The bee, it looked cool, it was green. Um, what do they all have in common? Like what, what, what can they have in, have in common? Um, let's have a look at the live chat. Let's see what you're, what you're saying. Uh, oh, some people saying, can you do something with the letters of the animals and like combine them? That's a good idea. Um, let me see what else is happening. Gosh, this live chat is moving quick. There's loads of you watching. Um, okay, so people have been doing some research. Thank you so much. Uh, some birds are from Africa, Asia, and Australia. Uh, is the sunbird picture a clue, I reckon? Uh, we've got here orchids are related to that bee, which will probably be in the jungle. So that's a good motivation. Oh, OK. We've got something. Someone said pollinators. And I actually think um, this is a big one, Maddie. So are they all pollinators? Do they all help carry um, pollen from one flower to another so that new ones can grow? Maybe. I've had a look at all of the letters. I, I mean, there are so many that I can't sort of imagine like how I could possibly jumble them up. Pollinators is is a really good idea because well we know that well I know that bees pollinate as do butterflies I know that the honey possum visits banksia so yeah very chances are it definitely pollinates that plant as do birds and bats so pollinators is a really good shout if okay. if that might be the thing that links them but What's I just wanted you? to show you we found somewhere at the back of this room oh so there's an extra little room at the back of the mountains glass house so take us in take us in because we've got something on the floor down here which is looking really, really promising. Um, so we've got a lamp, we've got this block of wood which has five flowers on it, and another torch, which I can't get to work. Hang on. Yes. Ooh. 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 Okay. That's, this that's is not any normal UV torch. torch. It's a UV torch, yeah. UV torches do sometimes reveal secret messages. So okay. Perhaps... Hang on. Lots of people are saying, yeah. It? Shine it on the block. Well, I'm just going to turn the torch off. It might get dark a moment. That's showing us something. That? Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. So we've got a bunch of lines, but I don't. 
but I can't really tell what it's what it's what what they are at the moment. Okay, Maddie, we've got a suggestion. Um, okay. Match the pollinators with the plants. That's so a good idea. You said they're all pollinators. I knew them though. Oh, okay. <laughs> hang on, I know one. I know one. I know Banksia. And, and no, no, hang on. Who said somebody said something about the euglossine bee having to do with orchids? Yes, you're right. They did say that. But I still don't know. I don't know those three. Sorry. Okay. All right. You lot, jump in the live chat. Be our research detectives. We need you. We need you, Maddie. Um, at home, and I've seen out in parks and stuff, butterflies on Budlia. Yeah. That's yeah. that's. A, I've definitely seen that. Yeah. Good point. These um. So two. that's also so. So okay. So we need to know a bat and a sunbird. I'm gonna guess. Put the bat with the bird of paradise and the sunbird with the jade vine. Why not? That to me. Hang on. That seems bizarre. But okay, guys. Ready? Oh, we've got a torch, goodness me. Hang on, I'm going to turn the lamp off again so you can see the UV light. Here you go. Oh, no, that's not right, is it? Can you see that? Oh, no, that doesn't work. So we, okay, so we've got an H. Don't know. N not sure. I'm going to switch them over. Yeah, good thinking. Here we go. Hang on, people are helping me. Bird of paradise, sunbird. That's yeah, the right way around. Well done, whoever got that. What well on, team. Okay, what's it okay. say? I don't know. It's upside down for me. Okay, uh, back to the start. H A W K uh, M O T Hawk Moth. Hawk Moth. I think that might be our first code word. <gasps> We've got our first code word. I'm going to write it on the board. Hawk Moth is our first of the four code words. Hawk. And I'm very sorry about my handwriting. It's a bit rubbish. Okay, Maddie, hawk moth is our first code word, which means we've got three left and a number to find. Um, let me work out, where, where, where should we go next? Where should we go next? While we're there. I, I'm um, trying to find my map. I left it in the dark. Hang on. Where, oh, I've got it. I've got it. So this is the map. Where do you think I should go next? At the moment, we are in the mountains glass house um, and we've got all of this to explore. I don't know if we've had a clue. Okay, let's have a think about this. So we've used the mug so we can get rid of that. Um, and I'm just gonna have a look at the live chat and, oh, okay, they're good. Here we go. How about this as a suggestion? Uh, there is a book on the map and you have a library card. Yes. So Mads, I... take us to the book on the map. Have you got a okay. still got a library card? I think so. Hang on. I'm just going to check. I'm just going to check. I've got the library card. Two seconds. I have a library card. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Follow me. Okay. So the book is just outside it. Oh my God. I've never seen that before. It's a, it's a tiny little library. Has that got it's books inside? Look at this. That's so cool. No way. Um, why is there a net? Is that a net? Yes. We have a fishing net, everyone. Um, I don't know, or maybe it's for catching bugs? Well, no. All right. Maybe, I, I'll, I'll bring it with me anyway. Yes. Um, okay, I'm going to open up the library. Okay, opening up the doors. Okay, we have, okay, a whole bunch of different books about um, plants. Uh, they're colourful, um, plants, botany, uh, being outside. They've got, all of them have got sort of stickers on the spines which have numbers or like math symbols on them. Okay. And then there's one up here which is sort of like a bit of an odd one out. This is a dictionary. All of the others are, are plant books. But what should I do? Because I can't, I can't read all of them. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's have a think about this. So you definitely can't read all of them. Um, so what do you think? There are books. They're colourful. Uh, there's some numbers and symbols on them. Um, there was that one book that was a little bit different. Um, let's see what you are all saying. Well, there's lots of suggestions that um, the hawk moth might be related to the net. People are saying you might need to catch a hawk moth or a model of a hawk moth later. That's a really good idea. Um, what else are people saying? Yeah, people are saying there's a sum on the book spines. Okay, got it. Uh, other people saying we need to put them in the right order. But how do we know what order to put them in. That is the challenge. Um, okay, okay. Oh, oh, someone has said, put the books in rainbow order. 
because and then someone else is saying look at the library card do we miss something i've got the library card it says you'll be surprised what's in your library and it does it does it has a rainbow on it it has a rainbow so on it gonna... that's a really good idea let's put them in rainbow order okay um okay well it's rum on the library card so i'm gonna try and remember okay so, <laughs> and help me out team red all right so we've got seven colors red orange red and yeah no, orange yellow. <laughs> uh hang on i know this red okay, orange green, yellow red, blue green blue anyone can help me out if not indigo wait i can use the math at the bottom because it is it's making an equation so we've got two plus three minus four no okay got my indigo and oh violet. indigo and violet are always <laughs> tough <laughs> two plus three minus four equals what um, I'm going to let you lot do the maths. So, okay. All right. Yeah, you lot. Jump on the maths. Get on the maths. Um, we'll have another look. I'll bring it back up again. Let's get a close-up of that so we can have a look at what we're doing. Two plus three minus four equals something. While we're there, Maddie, can we yeah. have a look at that box that's above the book? Because people are saying to me, it's not a book. And I'm like, well, it is. It's a dictionary. It says it on it. They're right. It's not a book. Um, it's a safe. I've, well, I've actually seen one of these before. So, hang on, you never know. No, uh, no. okay. So, to, <gasps> there's something inside it. Amazing. But to get inside, I need three numbers. So, what was the solution to the to the maths equation? No, that. Oh uh, well, I've had. Oh, <laughs> my, wait, the, my live chat. My live chat is so full of the number one. There are just hundreds, thousands of the mentions of the word one. Um. But the word one, the number one, is not three digits. Um, can you try one, one? Oh, you're already on it. One, one, one. Nice. <laughs> I'm trying it anyway. I'm now going to try two, three, four. Good thinking. Try two, three, four. Um, no. oh. While you're doing that, Mads, I'm going to put the number one up on the board. I reckon that's the number that we need because that was the, the, uh, the solution. So I'm going to put the number one up on the board. Um, let's see if you lot have got any suggestions. Did that work, Mads? 234? No, 234 doesn't work. But if Hang on. we've gone and found the number that we needed, that is really good news. So well done. Hang on. We've got loads of people saying, use the library card number. Did Was there a number on the library card? Um, yes. Yes, there is. 147 on the library card. Oh, you lot are great. Who would that? That's brilliant. Okay, I'm trying it again. One, four, seven. Yes, we're in. <gasps> what have we got? We've got a key. Amazing. Got a little key. Okay, I'm going to add that to the inventory. Um, put that in uh, yet another pocket, Maddie. <laughs> Okay, so let me just summarise what we've got. So we've used the library card. So let's get rid of the library card off the inventory, which means we've now got a net and a key. So the question is, where do we go next? Where do we go next, Maddie? I don't mind. Where do you think I should go? Someone mentioned something about um, hawk moss, maybe? Yes. Looking, looking for hawk moths in the rainforest? Yeah, Would people were saying that? you find a hawk moth in the rainforest. Um and I want to go there because it's the biggest one and it's my favourite. So let's go there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go here. So to the rainforest, everyone. Let's go. All right. Um, but actually, um, on the way to the rainforest, we happen to nip in via uh, headquarters. So I'm sneakily going to just let you see what's going on behind the scenes. Hello. Hello. Hi. It's great. Hi. Welcome to the Glass House HQ. Sorry, I just thought I'd drop in as we were on our way. Sure. So there we go. It's going well, but we have only got an hour before Sorry. the sprinters come on. Yeah. But hang on, people on here are saying rather than going to um, the rainforest, yeah. I've got loads of people suggesting, can you actually instead go to where you'd use the net? Apparently there's a pond on the map. There is. There is. In the wetlands. Yes. Okay, so we're not going moth trapping. We're going, we're going fishing. All right. right. I'm taking my little uh, fishing net for a walk. Come along, everyone. Let's put the torch on again because... It's so awesome! Look at this! Okay, um, actually, so yeah, as Greg said, the, uh, the rainforest is the largest of the glass houses. We won't explore it yet though, we'll go through to the wetlands first. But as we are going through, I thought we spotted this earlier, can you see? 
That is the bird of paradise, which we've just found out is pollinated by the sunbirds. So that's pretty cool. But come on up, follow me. Let's keep going. Uh, not yet. We're not going in that room. We are going on to... Where are we going now? Not in there. Okay, nearly there. Nearly there, really. Yeah. Keep going, there. Mads. We've got the tropical wetlands. That's where the pond is. Yeah, so come on in. Because as it happens, some of the plants in here are really, really cool. We have rice growing in what's like a model paddy field. But around here, I'm curious if some of you have ever heard of the plant of, of a plant called the Titan Arum. Um, they grow huge, enormous flowers that are really, really smelly. Um, but these are baby ones. And you can tell because they've sort of got speckles on the stems. But last time the Botanic Garden had a Titan Arum that actually bloomed, people queued down the streets to see and smell it. And it stunk. Um, in the middle, it really smells. Put that down. We've got our pond. And Ooh. come along. There's some things that like sort of like bobbing on the water, which uh, what are sort they? Of a little bit out of place. Maddie, while well, we're in here, um, are there pitcher plants behind you still? Because they're, I think, one of my favourites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, these, okay, so these are Nepenthes or pitcher plants, as Greg has just said. They're called that because they're a little bit like jugs that you sort of, you know, you'd pour water out like pitcher jugs. But these are carnivorous, which means they sort of like di they digest bugs and insects. <gasps> so the way that would work is an unsuspecting bug would come along it would like slip over the edge and fall in. Uh -oh. And at the bottom, there, there's liquid digested juices. Can we see it? We're actually in, yeah? Bug juice, go. bug <laughs> juice. Oh, digested bugs. Digested is bugs. Is that a bug in it? Oh. It? Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, Maddie, I've got, someone says, was there a notebook lying on the side of the pond? Yes, we do. We've got a notebook. Interesting. Okay, right. It's these, it's got, so if someone's been working it out, we have moonflower seeds, Ooh. Uh, but a couple of little scribbles that say, peculiar structure, travel down rivers, air chambers inside. However, this, this picture here of the seed looks a lot like the bits that are on the top of the water right now. Can you see them? No way. Okay, so, they, so they're like a hawk moth seed. Well, you're getting no, suggestions. moonflower seed. You're getting, oh yeah, sorry, my bad, the moonflower seed. And um, I'm just looking at all this chat, it's amazing. Did you see that? Someone said, catch them with your net. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Okay. Oh, okay. So there we are, all right. Um, I think I can reach them all. Good luck, just, I mean, if you fall in, it'll be funny. Okay, right, I've got one, I've got one. So yeah, it's definitely a seed and it's got a letter on the back. An F. The letter okay. F. Okay. So I fish out the others. Yes, please. Yeah. Let's okay. do it. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there's a letter F on that one. Got it. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Hang on. This one. What's that? Okay. A D. That, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's an O. It's either a, or a coffee bean. O. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll take O. We'll take O. We've got an F and O. Fo. Okay. Right. I'm going in. Or I'm going in, everyone. I'm of. Under the picture plants, two moments. Oh, the water is, it's really warm. Is it? I guess it is a tropical wetland, isn't it? Okay, I've got okay so that's three. Oh, that's four. You've got four. Okay. Yeah, I've got four. What are the letters on those two? We have, um, here, let me show you, T and we have L. Okay, we've had a suggestion that they might make a word. So the idea here is that they would be an anagram. So an anagram is when you have all the letters of a word, but they're all jumbled up. So we need to work out what that word could be. Okay. I've got one more. How many are there, Mads? Five. A. It's the letter A. Okay, let's have so a look then. Really work that one out. And I, whilst you're trying to work that out, I'm just going to double check that there aren't any more here. Okay, team. So um, let's have a think about those letters. Let's see those letters again. Let's see the letters and let's see if we can work out what they are. So we've currently got Tafola. Uh, no. Um, Lafot. Ofout. <laughs> it's my best anagram skills. Uh, Flato. Uh, Phalot. People are saying frog. No, we haven't got the right letters for frog. Uh, 
Um, uh, basically, they're saying we're playing Wordle with seeds, which is which is fun. Uh, what have we got? Oh, we've got it! We've got it, Maddie. People are saying what? float. It spells float. F L O A T. That word. Oh, you lot are good. It's another, it's, that's another code word, definitely. Okay, I'm going to add it onto the wall. Um, so we've got hawk moth as the first one. We've got float as the second one. We've still got the number one. We've got two missing code words to get. Um, you've just used the net, so I can get rid of that off there. Um, where are we going next then, Maddie? Well, I don't mind, but we can go back to back to the rainforest if you like, because we did go through it. Yeah, let's go to the rainforest. Rainforest, please. Okay, let's go. All right, back across the side Here we go. And we're going as back into corridor as maddie travels back through the corridor uh and into that rainforest glass house keep the eyes and the ears peeled because we might be getting close to where the moonflower was um so yeah keep your eyes and your ears peeled guys beautiful isn't it look at it <laughs> um welcome to the rainforest glass house uh, in the wild there are over you could find over two hundred thousand species of plants in a rainforest Wow. Now, there aren't quite that many here in the glass house, but it definitely feels really dense. It is just packed with greenery. It smells amazing, and it is really, like, warm and moist as well. Um, but if we go around here... Right, I'm just going to make sure I haven't missed anything. Hang on. So, nothing there. I can show you... I'm going to show you quite a cool plant. Wait a second, come here. Yeah, please. This, ah, this is a mimosa plant. It's also known as a sensitive plant. Can you see how all of its sort of leaves are currently close together? Yeah. Well, actually, let me try and touch one. I'm going to try this one, just touch this one just here, if you can see okay. that. Oh, see, sometimes these will close, but maybe because it's nighttime, they're closed up already, but... I've seen them, one. yeah, because it's right. known as the shy plant, isn't it? You stroke it and it goes, yeah. oh, and like hides. Okay, I'll keep going around. What else can we um, see? Could anybody tell me what we can make from a cacao plant? Have you got one? This here, this is um, a cocoa. It's a cacao or cocoa plant. And from it, we get cocoa pods that you can turn into chocolate. Oh yeah. Uh, it doesn't have any uh, pods or beans on it at the moment though. Um, let's keep going around. Uh, Maddie, 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 stop, 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 stop. Are you okay? I can hear animals. Oh yeah. Are you okay? I'm, I'm guessing it's a sound effect base at that, that area rather than... That's like a, like a croaking bird. Dogs. Like dog maybe. Oh, we know that one. Okay, stop. Snake. It'll cycle again. Here we go. It's the first okay, one. so like, like a, some type of big cat. What is that? Like a, like a bird or a, cro a croaking bird. A dog? And a that snake. One, that one's, yeah, got to be. Okay, I'll tell you what, that, Mads. That's the only four I can hear. Those are the four. All right, you lot. This must be a clue, okay? I need you to work out what these four noises are. So the first one was the like a growl. The second one Maddie described as like a croak. Um, here we go again. So that's number one. That's like a growl. Number two. That's like a croaking bird. What is that? A croaking bird in the rainforest. Okay, and the last one. We know the last one. Okay, Maddie, let's leave that with them. They'll work on that one. Keep exploring. Okay, all right then. I'm just having a look around with my torch. Okay, we're going to go around. There's, a, like, there's, a, there's like a central pond in the middle. I'm going to move around it now. We've got to be a bit careful though because it's actually pretty wet, which makes sense because this is where the sprinklers go off to water all of the rainforest plants. But if we can't all the way round, you're all okay. Follow my torch. Um, let me just show you. Oh, interesting. So I don't know if you can see these. They're oh, a bit scared of my lap torch. Did you see them? Yeah. Friends. Then we've got a whole bunch of cockroaches, which is awesome because cockroaches are amazing insects. Um, but also look at these giant leaves. Can you see that? Yeah. They are absolutely enormous. They're almost as big as me. And the bit on the end, this sort of like spiky bit, that's known as a drip tip. Ooh. So when water gathers on the leaf, it will just nicely drip off. Cool, right? Yeah, brilliant. Cool. What um, else are we seeing? Uh, whoa. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, 
Hang on. Okay. Okay, um, we have, I think this is, I'm pretty sure we've just found the painting from the letter. Wait, I've got the letter here. Let me just read it to you. Oh, yeah, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Um, last winter, my hard work paid off when a single white flower finally opened in the moonlight. Can you get closer to it? I was mesmerized and managed to capture its beauty in a painting just before it faded away leaving the plant quietly wrapped around the trunk of a tree. So one second, I'm just going to look. This, if we found a painting of the moonflower... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Around the trunk of a tree. Is that the moonflower up there? Look up. Is that, is that the pads? Look up. Yes. <gasps> right. These, these, they look like leaves. They're not. They're, these are sort of green pads. Can you see how that's wrapped all the way around the trunk? Wow. So the moonflower, it doesn't have roots in the same way a lot of the plants in our gardens do. The roots aren't in the ground. Instead, they're very small and they cling onto the trunk of the tree like this. Gosh. And this is the flower part. Wow. Okay. So that's okay. not flowering at the moment, but at least we have a painting. So that's brilliant news. So we found... The moonflower, the plant, where the flower was last year. Um, but we haven't solved all the puzzles yet. And Maddie, time is ticking. We need to get a move on. Um, okay. Those sprinklers are going to come. So uh, what else can we see, Mads? Right, we've got a whole bunch of painting supplies over here. Um, so I don't know if we need to do some artwork. But we've also got two, two boxes. Two boxes. We have a smaller box, which, has, which is locked. And can you see that? Yep. It's kind of got like a bit in the middle that I can wiggle around that can go like up, down, left or right. See yep. that? So we might need some sort of, oh, I don't know, like arrows or something. Um, let me see if I can open it. No. Um, and then we've also got a chest, which actually says mystery of the moonflower. Wow. And this one needs needs three numbers. So we need another three digits. Yeah, because people are saying use the key but I don't think the key works on any of them, does it? No, no, it okay. doesn't. We need to... Has anyone had any idea what the animal noises are? Yes, can you go back to them quickly, quickly, so we can hear yeah. them again and just cross yeah. them against what people are saying? Yeah, okay, hang on. Making our way back round, past the leaves, don't mind us. Okay, <laughs> you lot have been great. There are so many suggestions coming through, so let's get back to where we can hear it again. Yeah. You okay, it? so Maddie, we've got suggestion of people are suggesting tiger for the first one, tiger. but somebody else suggested uh, a jaguar. Okay. Apparently, that is a howler monkey. That yes! barking one. Yeah. It is. It so is. hang on, let's get that second one again. That. You know what? Hang on. People are saying it's a toucan. I so, know that. So therefore, you've got a howler monkey, a snake, a jaguar, and a toucan. Yeah, I'm going to go with jaguar because I think it's more likely to have a jaguar here in in, in this like rainforest. I think okay. that makes sense. Hang on. People are saying, look at the look at the compass on the map. There are animals. Where's the map? I left it around where the box is. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah, so they said, look at the compass on the map. There are animals. There are, yes. Okay. Right. So suggestions. They're the noises the animals on the compass make. Follow the compass directions in the same order. The lock follows the animal sounds of the compass. This is brilliant. Okay, so the order was um, jaguar, toucan, howler monkey, snake. So we need to go Jaguar East, Toucan West, Howler Monkey South, Snake North. So try that, Mads. Let me say it again. Let me just check that one more time. So Jaguar East, Toucan West, Monkey South, Snake North, right? Yes. Okay, east, I'm going to give it a go. West, South, North. Okay, so. East. Never eat shredded wheat. Yeah. East, east West, West, South, North. North. No, try again, let me try, try again. again. Maybe I did it wrong. East, west, 
south, north. Yes! Oh, phew! Phew! <gasps> I thought I got my directions all wrong then. What's inside? Ready? Sand. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it just sand? Is that the clue? Wait, I'm, I'm attempting a little dig through it. Okay, still nothing. Oh, there must Wait, be something. Oh. Come on, is there anything? Maybe it's just sand. Oh. I've got it, I've got something, I've got something. Oh, okay, what, what okay. is it? Okay, a little piece of paper. Yep. And it says, Brazil, we've got another code word. Okay, Brazil is another code word. That's our third code word, Maddie. So we've got hawk moth, we've got float, yep. we've got Brazil, and the number one. Okay, things are hotting up. Things are hotting up. Okay, Mads, um, where are we going to go next? Uh, hang on, um, we're getting lots chest? of suggestions. Leave, leave the chest, yeah, leave the chest. Okay. Um, lots of people saying sand could mean go to the desert. Uh, everyone is saying go to the desert, Mads. Okay, all right, it's the last one. All right then, so come on everybody, we're going to go this way this time. So a little shortcut through to the desert and see this up here, all of these vines above my head, this is jade vine, which we found out the bats pollinate. Pretty awesome. Okay, right, come back this way and then we can see down. Hang on. Can you hear that? What's that? What was that? I don't know, hang on. It sounded Wait. like like a radio yeah. or an Ooh, interference. Down here, down here, down here. We have got, we've got a radio. Looks right. Say hello, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Explorers, you have only 10 minutes left till the rainforest sprinklers turn on. Find the remaining code words oh, and no. claim your reward. Maddie, we have 10, 10? minutes. That's not fair. Okay, all right. We're going back to Lucy. Um, this is the last remaining bit of the rainforest glass house. So we get back out into the corridor and I can take you over to deserts. Uh, deserts is actually also known as the arid lands. And when we get into that, what's that? No, that's the tropical weather. Is it going? Keep going. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Arid lands. Here we are. Inside, we have a whole bunch of different cactus and succulents as well. They're everywhere. You can see loads of them, have sort of spikes on them, which is sort of like a defense mechanism. I'm I looking love for some kind of clue. Um, let me show you this. See this big plant, this enormous cactus? Yeah. This is known as a golden ball cactus. It can actually grow to be a meter wide, but it only gets those yellow flowers when it's 20 years old, which means that's at least 20 years old, which is pretty cool. Sorry, Maddie, Angelica's um, saying you need to go quicker. You need to go sorry, quicker. Angelica. Sorry, Angelica. Sorry, Angelica. I'm not getting anything here. Looking at the back. Trying to find something. What are we looking for? Like, can we see anything? Yes! Yes. Yes, we can. We can. Right. Okay, box. Great. We've got a box. Brilliant. Uh, what sort of lock is it? It's a key. Well, we have a key. a key. Come on. We've got the key from yes. the library. Okay. Please work. Please okay, work. What's inside? What's inside? Okay, hang on. Am I doing this wrong? Wait. Yes, what's I've got it. it. I've got it. it. Oh, no way. No right. way. Okay. <laughs> this is known as a cryptex. And usually there's something like locked inside it. So it's a way of sort of like sending secret messages in a really safe way. And there's got wheels on it, which turn and they have all the letters of the alphabet. So I've got to try and put letters in between these two arrows. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six letters or some kind of, some kind of word that okay. will allow me to open it. Okay, so here's my thought. We just got the word uh, Brazil has six letters. If you've got any ideas you like watching live, let us know in the live chat. Maddie, try Brazil. Okay, I'm on it. So B, wait, R, A, A. Thank oh, you. Oh, it's tricky. <laughs> it Z. is. It's oh, you got to be Hang precise. Uh, Maddie, I know. We're, I know. We're, we're about to hit seven minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. L. 
Brazil no. didn't work. Sorry, sorry, Greg. Okay, Brazil didn't work. Um, hang on, I'm looking at everyone's suggestions. Um, 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 hang on. Okay, so people are saying desert. 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 Okay. D, we are in the desert. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any other six letter words? Oh, hang on, I can't. There we are. D, E. Oh, my hands are so shaking. Oh, the word desert, Maddie, is um, very close to my favourite word, dessert. There's just one S different <laughs> fact for you. D E S E R T. No, nothing like that. <sighs> okay. Okay, everything's so, worked in themes. What have we seen? What have we got to work with? Uh, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just seen a different. Hang on. Cactus. People are suggesting yeah. cactus. It makes sense. It was next to a cactus. In fact, it's next to a rhinoceros cactus. Oh, which fun. is pretty cool. I've uh, never heard of a rhinoceros cactus before. That was my, that um, was my impression. I was um, trying to spell rhinoceros there, but that's not going to work. Okay. C A C T. Thank you. U S. Wait, wait, wait. T. Oh, am I doing that wrong? T U. Oh, I'm nearly there. Oh, S. <gasps> Are we in? We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Okay. Okay. What is it? Okay. We have. It's a piece of paper. Look. Cactus. Underlined. Okay, hang on. That must be our final code word. I'm putting it up. I'm putting it up. We have all the code words. Cactus. Yes. Four code words and one number. Go team. Go explorers. Okay, Mads, what else did the note say? It says, to unlock the final chest, use the radio to answer my questions and prove your knowledge of the mysteries of the moonflower. Greg, the code words are the answers. They're the answer. I bet you they're the answers to the question. That's a really good idea. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Can you remind me what the code words are? What are the code words? Talk yeah, the code that. words are hawk moth, float, Brazil, cactus, and the number is one. Okay. I'm moving all the way back round. I'm just trying to find the radio again. Get back to the radio. Get back to the radio. Okay, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Quick, four and a half minutes. Say hello, say hello. Hello. What animal pollinates the moonflower? Okay, what animal pollinates the moonflower? Of all the code words we've got. Someone said that earlier. Know, Someone said it earlier. They said hawk, hawk moth, moth. right? Hawk yeah. moth, yeah? Hawk moth pollinates the moonflower. How many nights does the moonflower open? How many nights does the moonflower open? Okay, well, we've only got one number. One? One! It only opens for one night, which is why it's not there. It's why it's special, yeah? Yeah. One night? How do moonflower seeds travel to new places? Okay, I know this one. How do moonflower seeds travel to new places? Not hawk moth seeds. <laughs> they, they float. They float. They float. They float. Right? Yeah. They float. Where in the world does the moonflower grow? Where in the world does the moonflower grow? The moonflower must grow in... Brazil! 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 Brazil. Oh, in the, in the Amazon rainforest. The moonflower grows in Brazil. What type of plant is the moonflower? Is it a cactus? Is it a cactus? The moonflower is a cactus. Congratulations, explorers. The code is three, seven, six. That's it, Mads. It's the, the final code. Three, three, three seven, seven, six. Go. Okay. Go, go, go. With that chest, okay, the big chest. chest. The chest is over here by the moonflower. How long have I got? How long have I got? Uh, three minutes. Oh, we've got ages. Okay, great. Okay, so four. So three. Three, seven, six. Oh, please work. Please work. Please work. Three, please seven. Work. That's a nine. Six. Three, seven, six. Come on. Yes, yes. Maddie. Yes. <sighs> Amazing. Can you scan it? Oh, scan me. Okay, scanning now. Can you do it? Oh, it's a video. It's a sped up video of the moonflower opening last year. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. And we now know it's a cactus that normally grows in Brazil and it only flowers for one night. Those are the secrets. Those are the mysteries of the moonflower.
and then it closes back up again. Oh, Maddie, it's incredible. Oh, I want to see it. Does it Does it look like the one in the painting? It looks just like it. It's amazing. Does we it? did it. We did it. Maddie, we revealed the mysteries of the moonflower. We have, a no we have another note from the botanist. It, it says... Say? Congratulations on working out the mysteries of the moonflower. Woo! Thanks to you and all of you. My passion for this secretive plant will live on. You're telling me it was very secretive. Your reward is a chest of beautiful colia seeds to be shared amongst everyone who has helped you on your quest. If any young explorers visit the gardens in person, they can pick up a packet of seeds and continue their adventures in botany. Oh, that's such a lovely those idea. Who come from further, sorry, for those who come from further afield, I've created a certificate to congratulate you for helping your guides today. Thank you once again, the botanist. So here we have so many packets of colia seeds for people to pick up if they ever come here or certificates. That is that's such... Great. That's such a lovely idea. Well done, all of you lot. Well, well done. Not only have we explored the Cambridge University Botanic Garden glass houses at twilight, um, we've also uncovered the secrets of the moonflower, the mysteries, just in time. And we've all been rewarded with prizes. Um, I'm going to make sure after this that all the information for how you can claim your prize is in the video description, in the description box uh, below this video. Thank you all so, so much. Great work, Maddie. People are saying when we go, we're going to need to take the painting and everything so the sprinklers don't get them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've got plenty of time, which is great. I just want to say that was so much fun. And honestly, thank you everybody at home who has sort of like helped us. And if you are watching back at a later day, I really hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much. Oh, and also a huge, huge thank you to the University of Cambridge Museums and Botanic Garden for supporting this video. Thank you to the whole team here uh, and beyond that have, that have helped us. Um, this has been super, super special, so thank you. Now, before we go, uh, let's do some final shout outs to you lot, shall we? Uh, there are so many of you watching. Uh, Etta and Isla want to say goodbye. Uh, Lucy and Peter want to say goodbye. They're watching live. Toby's loved it. Uh, Bethan and Harry have loved it. Uh, Adam and Ben. Uh, <laughs> people said Greg should do some star jumps now to earn his dessert. Oh yes, there'll be dessert after this. Um, so thank you all so, so much. It was an absolute pleasure, so much fun. Uh, Maddie, over to you to say goodbye, I think. Okay, well, from me in the Rainforest Glass House with the Moonflower painting, please do subscribe to the channel for more interactive events just like this one. And as always, stay curious. Goodbye. Bye.